Hello people, Mongoose here, and all of us here with us again. You want to say hello, son? Hello. Hello. Right, so basically we're going to do some gaming education videos, aren't we? Mm. Where I play some great games that I grew up with, and Oliver plays them too, and hopefully, you know, you can share the same experiences or have some new ones, you know, just see if I can pass me gaming love down the generation. You ready, son? What we're going to play? We're playing Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo, an absolute classic. Um, Oliver's never played it before, hey, son? No. Nope. No, it's his first time on Super Nintendo. Do you want to hold it for the first time? Ooh, does that feel good? No. No, are you ready to play some, <laughs> you ready to play some Street Fighter 2? Yeah. Yes, it's a great game and I'm sure he's going to love it. And uh, yeah, it's an absolute classic. <coughs> Let's get cracking. So here we are, Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo. Me and Oliver, he's going to get his gaming education on. Are you ready to play, son? Yeah. Get us started. Eight characters to choose from. Who's he going to pick? Remember, he's never played this game before. Zangrief against Blanca. What's that, Russia against Brazil? Round one. Round one. Fight! Oh, and he's doing well for his first goal. Right, now this is Street Fighter 2 and it was released in 1992 under the name Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. And it was obviously originally an arcade game. Do you know what arcades are, Oliver? Yeah. No. What's an arcade, son? So there's these machines, yeah. and what happens? And you, play games you play games on them. And they used to be all over when I was a kid, and this first came out on an arcade. And then everybody liked it so much that they put it on a Super Nintendo cartridge, or a Sega Mega Drive cartridge, and lots of other different cartridges and discs and such like. How are you liking it so far? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Do you like the music? Yeah. I love the music. Tell you what else I like. I like the backgrounds. Can you see all the people in the background? Yeah. They're awesome. Like all the detail. Oh, you electrocuted? Oh, he electrocuted you. Moving on to Gale. I love Gale's level. Look, it's like a... Can you see? It's like an airport with all the fighter planes behind you. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you remember I was telling you that this came out for the for the arcade? Yeah. And then they put it on the Super Nintendo cartridge. Yeah. yeah, can you remember that? Well, around that time, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of these kind of games came out and everybody said that this is the game that started all that, so it was because of this game where you got loads of other fighting games like Mortal Kombat and Basic Instinct WWE? No, don't, not WWE, son. Right, so after brushing Blanca and Gail aside, he's on E Honda and this is where things are going to start getting a little bit difficult for all of our thing. Especially with them E Honda punches, they're lethal. Final round, E Honda, Zangief. Oh, all of us doing well. This is certainly a game in education. First time on the game, and he's doing really well. Go on, son. Go and get him. Go and get him. Gosh. Go and get him. Go and get him. Oh, keep away from him when he's taking them little punches. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah! Fifth! Get on that, E Honda! Fifth you time win! Fifth time as well. Nice work, son. Ken in the next round, and Ken's got another brilliant background as well. Definitely a highlight of the Street Fighter games for me, other than the, you know, the fighting is the graphics. I mean, the backgrounds always look just brilliant. You know, there's so much going on in them. That's definitely a highlight of the game for me. And all of us having no trouble with Ken here. One. All of us doing very well for his first time on Street Fighter 2. Well, I didn't expect him to get this far. Oh, and it's like a power ball. Round one with Ryu, Ryu, however you want to pronounce it. But Oliver hasn't had any trouble up to now on his first turn of Street Fighter 2 and I kind of see him looking back now. He's got the Russian powerhouse Zangief on his side so you've got to expect him to do something. Hadouken! You've got to watch them Hadouken, son. They'll get you. Oh! How are you supposed to dodge them? I'm trying to go like that. Final round, Chun Li. It's all to play for here, and that lady's still going by on her bike. Chun Li's going to be using.
using a mobility for a, for the best effect, jumping around all over. And it looks like Oliver could be in a little bit of difficulty. Oh no, he's pulling it right back, and this could be it. And he's done it. Oh 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 oh. Round one. Round one against Balrog. I mean, he most certainly reminds me the, of the boxer that's on Punch Out. I can't quite remember his name, but that's who Balrog reminds me of. I like the background of this casino level as well, all the pimps standing in the background. Classic bonus stage. Trigger buttons. Shoulder buttons, son. Go on. Beat the crap out of that Lexus. Go on. Keep going. Duck down and do it. Duck down and do it. Duck punch. Duck punch. That's it. Use the shoulder buttons when you're ducking. And the bonus stages are definitely not all of our strong point. Go on, keep giving it some. Ah. Uh, what are you supposed to do? Rip the whole card a bit. So after brushing Mike Tyson, sorry, I mean Balrog aside, all of us onto Vega now in Spain. And Vega's always tough, especially with a big character like Zangief. And all of us not having any of it. Go on, son. Oh. Oh, he's biting them. Quick. Oliver's just said Vega looks like a girl, so I think Vega's gonna be out for blood right now. What makes you think he looks like a girl? When she started, she had um, where he had long, long hair. <laughs> I love how he refers to Vega as she. Right, so we're done now on Street Fighter, and we had a really good time, didn't we, son? Yeah. Uh, he got really far, he did a lot better than what I thought he would like to be honest, probably a lot further than I would have gotten at his age, but um, yeah, just an absolute brilliant game. What did you what, what did you enjoy about it? Um, it was good graphics. It was, it was really good graphics. Good characters. It was great memorable characters, that's another thing. And it was really easy to learn because my dad didn't tell us the controls. That's it, and it was really easy to learn. I didn't even have to tell him the controls because he's an absolute little genius. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it about um, Street Fighter, what more can I say? Um, there's that absolutely amazing music, you know, when especially when you press pause. Yeah, it's a supreme mo moment when you press um, pause on Street Fighter 2. And um, the music and the sound design all over the game is really, really good. Um, it's so good, in fact, that um, the monks in the background are dancing and raving to the music. But it was great just um, playing the game with Oliver again and, you know, letting him experience some of the things I did on the game when, when I was a kid, you know, whether it be getting his arse kicked by Ryu's Hadoukens. It's because I kind of dodged them. It's the Hadoukens. How are you supposed every to dodge time. them? How are you supposed to dodge them? Or getting his arse handed to him by um, Chun-Li's equally impressive helicopter spin kick. That I did lose from. <laughs> It was just great, um, you know, just overall playing the game with Oliver and giving them a bit of a game and education. So, have you have you learned anything from playing Street Fighter? Just wrestle. Just wrestle and Vega looks like a girl. Anyway, I'm the Mongoose and this is Oliver and we're both going to sign out. But like I always say, just subscribe.